Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami San has listed the allegations against the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop Namdekano, saying he must continue his court trial in earnest. Malami, in the test of his press conference in Abuja on Tuesday, noted that the IPOP leader, apart from jumping bail, has been accused of engaging in subversive activities that include inciting violence through television, radio, and online broadcasts against Nigeria and Nigerian state and institutions, he said. The AGF and the Nigerian government have been accused by many Nigerians of shedding bandits in the north, and a, a clerk close to them, Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, while going for IPOB members and leaders in the southeast. Malami added on Tuesday in Abuja that Kano was accused of instigating violence, especially in southeastern Nigeria. The AGF said, the self-acclaimed leader of the proscribed sessionist IPOP, Namdekano, has been arrested through the collaborative efforts of Nigerian intelligence and security services. He has been brought back to Nigeria in order to continue facing his trial after disappearing while on bail regarding 11 court charge against him. Recent steps taken by the federal government saw to the in interception of the fugitive Kano on Sunday, the 27th day of June 2021, he said. Nam the Kano Ngozi Chuku Okwa a Kano born 20th, 25th day of September 1967 at Afuruku Abia State in the holder of Nigerian passport number. Uh, A0513 6827 first issued 17th October 2013 at Festac Lagos. It is recorded that Kano was arrested on 14th of October 2015 on 11th count court charge bordering on terrorism, treasonable felony, managing on unlawful society, publication of the formatory matter illegal possession of firearms and improper importation of goods, among others. A judge at the Federal High Court, Abuja, revoked Kanu's bail that was granted him on head grant and issued a bench warrant for his arrest on the same date over his failure to appear in court for hearing. He has, upon jumping bail being accused of engaging in subversive activities that include inciting violence through television, radio, and online broadcasts against Nigeria and Nigerian states and institutions. Kanu was also accused of instigating violence, especially in the southeastern part of the country. And this time, the, according to the uh, AGF, he said Kano must face the law court. Kano was blindfolded and sneaked into the courtroom by operatives of DS Department of State DSS in handcuffed while his legs were also chained. He was hurriedly taken to court to where the presiding judge told the prosecution lawyer Shahib Lambara to inform the defense counsel of the new date for the continuation of the trial. Journalists were prevented from filming Kano as he was shaded and taken through the back door. The prosecution appealed that Kano jumps bay and wanted him to be reminded at DSS custody. <clears throat> anyway, uh, Nigerian government just have to be very, very careful on this. Yeah, they should be very careful. They, Kanu should not be touched, just like what Nigerians are saying here. They should not touch him. And uh, let's see how it fold be everything, you know, unfold. Kanu was forced to defend his people instead of the world to protect him. They feed him to the sharks. Africans, mostly Nigerians, we keep on running to Europe because of this. I have seen Igbo people in Europe. They want to go home. 
these are people who have been denied the ability to better themselves because of 1966 history. If this story is true, the country that gave him away just divided uh, okay, just divided the country by war instead of dialogue. Nigerians are reacting. This is the end of the road for Nigerian government. Too. All that has been divining ordained is coming to fulfillment. <laughs> he said. What about Sheikh Gumi? Gumi lives in Nigeria. You people did not arrest him. What is going on here? Are you telling us that Gumi is an innocent person? No country in the world will allow Kano to be roaming about freely with even a one court charge. I am imagining how, though, the lesson Fulani man will teach the Igbo man in the language he understands. Destination is freedom for Biafra people. No one is without troubles, without personal hardships and genuine challenges, but nobody, not even the Purest heart escapes life and struggle for freedom without suffering battle scars. No struggle for liberation has ever been achieved without challenges and trials, but only those with the heart and the mindset takes the victory at last. I have never seen a freedom fighter without handcuffs. This is not something I will be, that will be baffling me. Government should end insecurity and all that yeah <laughs> if nigerian government could do this you know if they could be able to bring you know and kind of back to nigeria this way that means nigerian government still have the strength you know to end the insecurity we are facing today in nigeria those people in sabiesta forest if nigerian government means to take them down it will not take them one minute now the question is what are they waiting for if they can do this that means the insecurity challenges we are passing through today we are you know going through in this country is nothing before the federal government so what are they trying to tell Nigerians? So guys, I'm dropping it here. Hit the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye.